So I just thought I'd jump on and just give another update. Um, we're day five <laughs> in um, Carnivore and doing so well so far. Um, I thought I'd just mention the allowances I'd given myself in case I hadn't mentioned them before. So before I started, I gave myself some things that I could have while I'm transitioning. Um, I'm allergic to eggs, dairy and gluten, so I can't have eggs and I can't have butter and milk and all that sort of stuff. So I've given myself MCT oil as an option for extra fat. I've given myself um, some spices, some herbs like coriander, mint, basil if needed. I've given myself some lemon juice, vinegar, bone broth mayo, so I can put a photo up of that. That's kind of like this mayo that I found very clean, very good ingredients for now, just while I'm transitioning. Mustard, um, nuts, this sort of plant cream, which is not the cleanest of ingredients, but it's low sugar versus the almond milk that I'm also allowed to have at the moment, which has got some sugar in it. Um, and some coconut cream, which I have for my probiotic yogurt that I make. So they're kind of my allowances at the moment. Um, so this week's been interesting because I had a cycle the last two days. So navigating that has been interesting. In fact, I actually haven't been too tired, which is which is also something that I noticed. Um, and then the cravings, they've not been too bad. But yesterday I did make a lot. One of my other allowances was cacao. And I allowed myself to have some cacao powder with some milk blended. And I kind of added some peanut butter. It didn't taste the most amazing, but kind of satisfied any craving for chocolate or anything um that's my daughter popping in the background so that was this week um yeah so i guess one of the things that i'm um, just paying attention to um is it for improvements wise is my skin um i've suffered from eczema a lot um i can put a photo up of what it used to be like um just a couple of years ago and it's gotten a lot better over the years. There's still been some residual stuff. Last year when I went off a bunch of other things, so I went off nightshades, preservatives, soy, sugar, artificial sweetener, even natural sweetener, um, and also egg dairy gluten. Um, I noticed that I got better, um, but I then found out that I... Um, Sorry, my daughter's coughing. I was just checking on her. I then found out that I had heavy metals in my system. So I, my doctor put me on a bunch of supplements and stuff to try and detox me from that. And I, my skin started to flare again. As well as doing, I did a water fast, three-day water fast, and my skin started to flare again. I had some other health things going on last year, which I may or may not share. But um, So I was using steroids still from last end of last year to the beginning of this year on my eyes my mouth my hands um but since i've got back from my holidays the last three weeks i haven't used anything which is a very long time to not use steroids on any part of me that's unusual um but also wonderful um and so what i'm noticing in my eyes here they're typically quite red that's gone down heaps usually they're quite dry red itchy swollen like get very sore above my mouth that's pretty much gone my hands are amazing like if i have a photo i'll put it up but usually they're like all of my palm is like scratched ripped up my fingers and my just my skin in general feels really like soft and chewy like and like not dry which is all like all of my skin my legs and stuff so i think it my skin's really liking it and then there's this patch this i had some surgery last year and this patch came up the last few months and i don't really know what it was eczema now that um and and so it's lost some pigment i don't i'm not known for psoriasis so this is a new sort of thing for me i've not lost pigment before um anyway it was very scaly red itchy angry that's gone now and especially this week i've noticed the softness of the skin coming back some of the pigment here is also looking like it's maybe filling in. But I don't know. This is numb. Like I lost sensation up here um, from the surgery. So I don't know if it's related. I don't even know what it is. But I'm just interested to see what happens with that. Um, 
yeah, so that's that. Um, I noticed with my periods, I didn't have as much period pain. I didn't take any Panadol this period. I don't usually get heaps, but I always at least take one lot of Panadol on my day one or two. Um, so that's been good. My lower back pain has been very minimal, basically none, which I usually always get with a cycle. Um, and <clears throat> what else have I noticed besides my skin? Yeah, my energy levels have been okay. Like I haven't really had any massive highs, but I haven't had any massive lows. Um, so considering I've cut out all sugar and carbs, that's mostly. Um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I guess <clears throat> with the electrolytes, I didn't really feel like I needed much this week. Yesterday I did have some. And today, um, just in case, because I had a headache today, could have been from the heat. Yesterday, I just wanted to do it just in case. I think I heavily salt my food, and I'm wondering if that's why I haven't needed any yet. My only thing with the electrolytes, the unflavored electrolytes, is they do not, I don't like salty water. When people say they drink electrolytes, they don't say that essentially what it is is salty water. So I added it to my food yesterday, the other half, because I drank half and I was just like, it's like drinking seawater, it's yuck. Um, and then I put the rest on my food and I ate it. So I don't know what everyone else does, but this is what I'm trialing. I would love to be able to drink it as a drink with something, maybe some lemon juice, I don't know. I just need to find some ideas. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'll pop up some pictures if I can of like what I've been eating I've been trying to have, my mum suggested I do a few different proteins in a meal. So that as I get used to just eating protein, so I don't get bored with just like steak or just chicken or just, I've been trying to add like steak and some squid or chicken and some prawns or like stuff like that. And I found that's been very helpful. I haven't been bored or I haven't had any meat aversion this week. Um, which is good because I really like vegetables and I really like fruits. I was really concerned that I was going to get really um, very quickly over the mean, high protein. Can I about bacon? Sure. Um, yeah. I also pop up here. I mean, I've got a conference coming up and so trying to find things I can eat during the day that don't need a whole lot of reheating is interesting for me. Um, I came up with a little list of how I was going to do it. And so I'll put that up. Today I went out to a cafe and I took my tuna mix with tuna mayo mustard and my chicken crackers that I made, um, which my mum actually made for me. She tried to develop, or she developed a, a loaf, a bread loaf for me, eggless with chicken flour and chicken mince. And then I turned them into little like Melba toasts and they were so good just to have on the go pure protein um and actually very they're filling like very they felt very nu like nutrient dense like I, I got full off that which is just one thing that blows my mind is how full you get off of s small meals of protein like compared to the other meals I'd have with protein and everything else around it um I'm just checking my list basically I think that's my update no, this is what else I wanted to say. I have felt really good internally. I've not felt bloated. And to feel my skin feeling soft and to feel like the pretty even sort of energy that I've had, um, and just internally feeling well, has been really rewarding this week. And I heard Michaela Peterson say, nothing tastes as good as healthy does or tastes as good as healthy feels or something like that and I just really resonated with that this week and even though I've met like you know I want the access to some of the foods I was eating right now it's just good to be reminded that feeling this way like I really need to feel better like when I sleep at night and I turn can you go? Um, yeah, what I was saying was when I sleep at night, I'm constantly turning because my sides get sore from lying on them. 
and it's more joint pain in my hips and stuff. When I sit on the floor, I feel the joint pain a lot and I can't, I find it hard to sit um, and in my knees and stuff. And I just really want to feel better. I want to have no more joint pain and I want to be able to move and play with my daughter and just not be restricted. And I've had a lot of health things over the years and um, it's tiring. It's tiring constantly trying to get through life in pain and with sore skin and just and it's tiring being having so many eating restrictions and having to work out how to go out with people and eat in that way. And I'm, I don't know if that'll ever change. But if I can reduce the pain in the meantime by eating this way, and if that can give me more ability to do things, then I, I'm i looking forward to seeing like how this will impact and help me in that space. Um, that's what I think like my heart is longing for and some of these things I don't like to hype them up and make them too good to be true I see all the people raving about it I hear the testimonies and it's cool um, I usually find it's a little bit of everything you need it's not just one thing and so um, I'm just I'm here doing it day by day and just trusting that um, yeah we'll find a way through and that this this could help and if it doesn't find something else um, but yeah so it's been nice to feel even some small improvements in a week um, so yeah that's my update and talk again sometime up sometime soon